Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Fauquier County Public Schools with another edition of Three Great Things. And I'm going to add a fourth thing uh, this week, only because I just found out about it and it's too good not to mention. Uh, so every year we do, the Transportation Department does a Stuff the Bus uh, program to benefit the Fauquier County um, Food Bank. And uh, prior to this year, the record had been 9,000 pounds of food that had been collected for the food bank. But today we collected 15,805 pounds of food uh, to benefit uh, those who are in need in Fauquier County Public Schools. And uh, I think that's just awesome. So congratulations and thank you to the folks in transportation. Um, starting off with the Veterans Day program at Pierce Elementary School um, on Monday. It was a great event, and but the reason I picked Pierce in particular was because of the number of veterans who participated in the event. Um, there were a lot, and I, I took some pictures of, of them sort of streaming into the, the to the gym um, prior to the the, the uh, assembly, and it was it was remarkable the number of veterans that were there. Uh, just a, it was a real treat and very impressive. So. Um, Thank you for all the schools who went out of their way to recognize veterans and to honor veterans here in Fauquier County. Um, and thank you to the veterans uh, for your service to this country. Thank you very much. Um, so later in the week, I was able to go to the PATH Foundation building where we held the first annual, or Fauquier Mental Health held the first annual uh, symposium for youth. And um, it was, it was in some ways similar to the training that we received, the, the purple lanyard training, um, to which enables us to work with, um, with or help students who are maybe going through a difficult time, struggling with mental health issues. Uh, this was a, an opportunity to, um, this is all the high schools and middle schools were represented, uh, student groups from each school were represented, and they received some training and um, some information about substance abuse in, in the community and and uh, data about the about uh, student mental health and and ways that they can help their 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 colleagues their their classmates and uh, I was very proud uh, this is a initiative that started not for kids but for adults several years back and it just seems to be taking off now with the students and I think that's great because it is a very significant problem and there just aren't enough mental health experts out there to help uh, the, the, with the numbers of students who suffer from things like school anxiety uh, and depression and whatnot, and um, so it was a really good training option opportunity for kids. We, and we hope we hope it it'll expand in the future. And last but not least, uh, one of my favorite events we had senior interviews uh, and sophomore interviews. Senior interviews at, at Kell Run High School, sophomore interviews at Liberty High School. Um, these are our interviews that are um, set up by the guidance department at each of the schools, and there are opportunities for students to interview with someone um, who perhaps they're interested in entering into that field, um, or uh, they're they are have some connection with with um, one of the adults there. But anyway, I was I was there representing the school system, and so I did some mock interviews with some kids, and they did they were fantastic. They did their own their own resumes and um, in some instances cover letters and I read, met some really interesting kids. I met, I met one student, a senior at, at, uh, at Kettle Run who's, who, has his, who already has his private pilot's license and has over 100 hours of flying time. I, I was amazed by that. That was really neat. But there were, there were a lot of kids like that and, and, and that's one of those opportunities that are kind of few and far between for me. I don't get a lot of opportunity to, to speak directly and spend time with students and get to know students. So uh, anytime I have a chance to do that, I try to take advantage of it because I just it just doesn't happen very often, unfortunately. But um, anyway, it was really two really well done events by the guidance departments at Colorado High School and then Liberty High School. So that's it. Um, hope everyone has a great weekend.